Thomas Weather. The Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it is the 13th day of June. Time as I make this is 3.45 a.m. And we've got some weather to talk about. Some strong to severe storms for the next three days. The Storm Prediction Center has us in at least a level two risk for three days. But even tomorrow, a level three risk, an enhanced risk, which gets our attention. And the main risk is going to be damaging wind gusts and large hail. There's cold air aloft. We have a frontal system that is kind of draped over the state that's just oscillating north and south. And through Thursday, it's going to keep the focus of strong and severe storms right over us, especially in the afternoon and evening hours. And as I mentioned, the strongest uh, risk, according to the Storm Prediction Center, is actually Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening when uh, there is a 30 to 44 percent chance of large hail, particularly large hail, uh, in a hatched area that you're going to see in the blog update below, uh, right over central Alabama. That's pretty interesting. Of course, uh, a lot of us remember a big hailstorm on April 25th, 1988. Um, I'm not suge suggesting we're going to have that, but car dealerships get nervous. You remember that uh, hailstorm uh, dented just about every car in town uh, with, uh, with golf ball size hail. That was in 88. Anyway, uh, we're going to stay weather aware for the next three days in particular and watch our weather app. Our weather app will keep you on top of the action with instant push notifications for severe weather alerts because I think there'll be warnings and probably severe thunderstorm watches along the area. The tornado threat is not zero, but it's relatively small. This is not a, a tornado situation, okay? You can get our app store, I mean, you can get our weather app in the app store by searching Rich Thomas Weather. And also the radar and future radar is going to come in very handy. You can take that down to the neighborhood level as well. It's a great weather app. And by the way, you can even overlay lightning and see where the lightning is and it's going to be prolific over the next three days as well so there you go uh, i think by friday the front will start to fizzle a bit and the number of storms will start to thin out as we get towards friday and saturday otherwise look for highs in the 80s through thursday then we're back to the 90s i think by friday saturday and sunday that is your forecast discussion stay weather aware i know you will and we'll keep you on top of the action with the latest watches and warnings as well Plus, that's uh, again, uh, our weather app is going to be your best friend for the next few days. All right. So this morning, everything is normal, including live on the radio, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1. Watch us on TV on CBS 8 and ABC 32. And there'll be another update for you, of course, first thing tomorrow morning. I'll be standing right here with the latest forecast discussion and blog update. If you're watching on YouTube, there's instructions on how to get to our weather blog on our weather website, Facebook. Twitter, and other ways of seeing our weather blog. Have a great day today. Rich Thomas Weather.